D, wait for it. Wait for it. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds, and welcome to my Week in Review, where I come to you every Sunday with three entertainment stories that I personally find interesting, and then we discuss it, we discuss it in the comments section down below, and uh, you can also read the articles that I found for these uh, topics uh, and read them for yourself. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump right into the first story. So negotiations started uh, earlier this week between Sony and Disney over the Spider-Man property. Now, um, I feel like either Sony or Disney leaked this story to use it, uh, and the fans, uh, to use the, the court of public opinion and apply pressure to the other side. So if it was Disney that leaked it, they wanted to apply pressure to Sony and vice versa. And pressure has been applied to both sides. Uh, it has started plenty of hashtags and memes. Disney and Sony are currently renegotiating their Spider-Man contract. And as of this video, they have not come to a uh, conclusion uh, uh, and everything, but uh, hopefully they will soon. So exactly what is their deal with the Spider-Man property? So here's what Disney gets. Um, they get merchandising for Spider-Man. Uh, Disney gets to use Spider-Man and all its characters in the MCU. Uh, Disney also gets to use Spider-Man in their theme parks. And Disney gets 5% off the top of the box office for the Sony Spider-Man movies now. So they get they get money off those movies. They only get five. All of that sounds like a pretty good uh, deal to me. In fact, it sounds, it sounds excellent. And I don't know why Disney would freak out about it. Uh, but let's just take a closer look at the whole situation. Now, uh... Disney came to Sony and they talked to them and they decided that they want 50% of uh, partners, 50-50 partner split um, on the cost and the profit. So basically how it works is Disney gets all those things that I just mentioned and then they uh, pay for the production costs on all the Spider-Man movies that are in the MCU and then uh, they get 5%. Of, of that of the box office and the profits and all that nonsense and then they also but then um, uh, Sony gets all the rest of it and in return they get all those things that they just got to and merchandising is huge when it comes to movies and any property so I'm pretty sure that Disney is not losing money there now this has has some people to say it is only fair that they both put up half the money um, and then they both get half the returns. But Disney is not giving Sony half of the merchandising profits and half of the theme park profits, which is a huge thing. I mean, maybe if they would give them some of that stuff, maybe they would, would do more. And if you, whenever you go and negotiate a, any kind of contract, you always... Uh, you always put up a bid higher than what they want. So they said, we want we want 50%. They were thinking Sony was going to come back and be like, uh, okay, 30%. But that's not what happened. So it sounds like that Disney wants a piece of Sony's action, but they're not willing to give a piece of their action. So because of this, Sony really uh, felt insulted by their offer of 50-50. And so they just said, forget you. We're going to do this. Uh, we're not going to do this anymore. And you can't have Spider-Man anymore. And decided to pull him out of the MCU. Which this has now divided fans. Particularly me and my twin brother. Uh, we are on opposite sides of this debate. And of course I am team uh, uh, Sony. And my twin brother is team Disney slash Marvel. Um, so... Uh, you know, it depends. You could be on that one. When when Civil War came out, we were on opposite sides too. He was Team Cap, I was Team Iron Man. It was it was uh, super fun. Now I'm sure that they'll reach an agreement soon or not. I'm not sure, but um, I'm sure that Marvel is going to have to give up some of that merchandising money uh, and the theme park uh, money for Sony to change their mind. Um, but I don't uh, I don't know if he'll. Uh, but I don't know if they'll give up 50% and they might give of them 10% instead of the 5%, um, which I think that that's a good deal right there also. Now, uh, the reason I'm on Sony's side here is because I think that Disney has a habit of strong arming people um, into doing what they want. And I think that it's high time that they take a hit and have to succumb to another studio and that they can no longer be the bully of Hollywood. 
So that's for my first story. So for my second story, um, it took 20 years after the first Matrix came uh, out on the big screen and some legal issues to have uh, that have held up this this franchise. But we're finally getting a Matrix Four. Yay! Um, now uh, Keanu Reeves has had a big is having a huge career right now, and he's very popular and deservingly so. Um, it was uh, announced earlier this week that we are going to finally get a uh, Matrix 4 movie. Um, it was also speculated that after we got The Matrix, The Matrix Reloaded, that was number two, and The Matrix Revolutions, that the fourth installment would be called Matrix Resurrection. Um, and of course, The Matrix movies has, uh, have, has, have had has had, have had a lot of uh, religious uh, metaphors and get ready for a bunch of those still, I mean, especially now. Um, and if you remember at the end of uh, Matrix 3, Neo did sacrifice himself to shut down the Matrix, so he did die. Um, now what's uh, the first and the most interesting thing about this announcement is that a lot of people have noticed uh, that it, uh, the fact that um, uh, Lawrence Fishburne uh, AKA Morpheus was not announced as a cast member. Now Morpheus did not die at the end of Matrix, uh, the Matrix trilogy, so a lot of people are questioning why he isn't in the cast. Um, my best guess is that he is still uh, negotiating his contract. He probably wants more money than they're willing to pay, and they're just trying to uh, finalize all of that and see what he'll come. It's negotiating 101. He asks for too much. They then bring it down. They're like, you want you know, $50 million? We'll give you $30 million. And then he's all like, well, I really want $35 million, but I'll go for $30 million. It's, it's, it's negotiation 101. Now, um... And now, if he, it would be, it's it's very important that he does come back because, uh, considering that he, his character is a uh, part of the main trio in that. Now, I think that they should also try their very hardest to bring back Hugo Weaving's uh, Agent Smith because even though he died at the end of the trilogy, I do think that he is also a character that uh, is integral to the storyline. Plus, he's not a person uh, in the movies. He's just uh, a computer program, and uh, computer programs can always be rewritten or you know changed or whatnot. So I feel like they could, if, there's, if they get smart enough writers, which we'll talk about in just a second, I think that they could really just bring back Agent Smith. Now, uh, now I think also some exciting news in this announcement is that Carrie Ann Moss will be returning, uh, has been asked to return back as Trinity. And she hasn't been um, in in uh, too many roles in Hollywood, and um, or in too many projects and everything. But her most recent one was on Jessica Jones for the Marvel Netflix shows, which I thought she did a great job and was personally one of my favorite characters in that show, and didn't get enough recognition for it. Now, returning as the director is Lana Wachowski, um, and she will be bringing she will be bringing back the Matrix without her sister Lily. Um, now, Lana uh, was the first of the pair to transition and has always been the more outspoken of the two. And she delivered a personal and a very powerful speech uh, back in 2012. If you get a chance, I would suggest going to look that up. It's it's very good. She did such a great job, and it's a really good speech. And with the advancement in technology, I think that it will definitely advance the movie visually, um, which I think Lana will definitely be able to take care of that portion of the program. Now, Lana has also brought on two fringe novelists to help uh, with the script for Matrix 4. Neither one of them have written a screenplay, and one of them wrote the novel uh, Cloud Atlas, which Lana and her sister directed the movie for, which did not do well at the box office. I personally liked that movie, but I can see why people didn't like it. Now, with this announcement uh, uh, made, I think that it's safe to say that uh, with his John Wick series, uh, Bill and Ted 3, and now the Matrix uh, uh, series, I think that uh, Keanu Reeves, uh, we won't see Keanu Reeves in a comic book movie anytime soon, which is a super bummer, but understandably so, because he's going to be way too busy. 
And that's my second story. So for my last story is a uh, Book of Enchantment uh, at Disney, uh, the Disney TV series project uh, about villains is not going forward. Now Disney Plus has abruptly pulled the plug on one of the highly profiled original series in the works at the streaming service. Uh, Book of Enchantment, an adaptation of the Villains book series by uh, Serena Valentino, featuring some of Disney's most popular villains. Um, now, they have, uh, the decision was largely creative and related to the show's tone and direction. Now, it came down uh, the other day uh, when the project was shut down 13 weeks into a writer's room where a team had been working on the scripts. Now, I totally understand why uh, Disney canceled this show, uh, feeling it was too dark for their brand, uh, but is exactly why, uh, I, this is just another example of why we need other studios to create a wide spectrum of styles of entertainment. Um, and I think that that's important. I think competition is, is good for everybody. So, tell me, what did you guys think about these three stories? How do you feel about the Sony versus uh, Disney slash Marvel? Or which team are you on? Um, how do you feel about Matrix uh, 4 being made? Are you cool with it because you love the first one so much? Or are you like me and I hate the second two, but uh, I'm willing to let them try again to see if they can uh, capture that magic of the first one? And how do you feel about the Book of Enchantment being canceled by the uh, Disney for the Disney Plus streaming service? Go ahead and leave your comments in that section down below. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. I won't mind. In fact, I would quite like it. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscription button. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys next week uh, on my Sunday, um, uh, my Sunday week in review. And I hope you guys have a great week. I'll see you next Sunday. Bye. Hey nerds, if you like this video, go ahead and click that Geek What icon and subscribe. And if you like this video, go ahead and join me every Sunday with my week in review.